Hey, 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 it's Tubby here, and we are back for episode two of Skybees. Uh, so in between episodes, did a little bit of progress, and I found a little bit of a gimmick. Um, so I went through the quests. I went ahead and made myself a couple buckets, uh, a couple of the DNAs. I don't know how to use them yet, and I went ahead and made the shears. Uh, and I went up this way. So the cast iron ingot was just bricks recooked. The tube was a gear and two of those ingots. The jar was recooked glass and the tube. So I'm actually working on trying to get more now because I want to have a couple more jars ready. Uh, it's that one. That'll be four. I need, I want to try to get two more jars for now. Maybe three. No, do three because you need four total different cooking recipes. Um, do I have enough? Might have to rock some more bricks. But yeah, so we were going, I had to go to the organic water. Uh, the organic water is was made with a seed and water, and the water I made with leaves over the campfire. And the gimmick I found was when you break this campfire that costs one torch to make, which we were given the torch, you get two charcoal back. Two charcoal turned into eight torches. And it's a torch. Easy way to do it without having the uh, furnace. That worked out pretty good. But I need to get soul sand, which is sand and organic water, so I can get the soul campfire. And I think we can go ahead and pull that out. Wait. Soul sand was over. No heat. Okay. Click on you, and we want to make soul sand. Soul sand, soul sand. Let that run. And seven. Just kind of sit here and, uh, this, this little rectangle has been my life. It has been my go-to. Oh, that was close. All right, that'll give us... That'll be seven, and uh, what do we need? Five more. Yeah, man, you can do it. You can do it. And we're also going to want to, let's just go ahead and make another campfire. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like this, we want to get some more bricks going. Put you on there for now. And just do the back and forth game. Uh, I want to get, like I said, four of these so we can run all the different temperatures. You gotta have a cold. You gotta have no temp. You gotta have hot and super hot. Which one's gonna be first? Which one finishes first? Do do do. Bricks. And no, 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 no. Oh, wait, that's fine. I just got so scared. Like, why did I cook the sand when I really wanted to cook the sand? So it's okay. Okay, I'm on. And we need... Cooking away, come on. So what, eight at a time, so eight, uh, be two more cooks. We can do it. Did we get it? 
Oh, we got ourselves in. Yeah. And this one will make our soul campfire. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to gimmick that one back. I do think you get like soul soil or something back. But we're going to want to make sure we kind of plot out our area. So I'm going to make this platform wider. Now that we have torches, we're not going to be super worried about lighting it up. So we can actually flatten the leveling of it. Like so. Like so. Like, oh, wait. Let's do it with regular ones now. Not super worried about those resources. And we do we have more slabs? No, so we do want to make some slabs just to make our lives a little bit easier. So we can just go bam, 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 bam. Just like that. And there, and now we can make more jars, more heat, more everything. I need a wand. That's what we need right now is a wand so I can build this quicker. And is that all of them? Did I get them all? All right. Make ourselves one more set of those pipes. And we can start breaking this down. Coming. All right. So we're going to want to do a campfire one. We're going to want to do... Come on. Give me more charcoal. Alright, so we need that. That'll give us that one right there. And then, so we have the campfire, the soul campfire. Uh, let's see, we can just kind of maybe do them in a row. Give ourselves a little space. Do that one. Do the jar, jar. And jar, jar. Binks. Perfect. All right, now we got all those. What do we need? We need some chests. Probably gonna need some more sand to make some more glass, but we can hold off on that slightly because you can actually link these together. That didn't sound good. Ah! Uh... Uh, string, 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 string. Uh, I'm gonna die. No. Ah. Ow. Stop hurting me. I'm trying to sleep.
Ow. Yeah, take that, suckers. Ha, I'm the boss. I'm afraid of you. Come get me. Come get yourself. Uh. That is like a horrible noise when they die. All right, that problem has been dealt with. And we need somewhere safe to put. All right, so we can go with a jar. Maybe we'll put the jar right here. We'll need a chest. Maybe we'll put a chest right there. And maybe we'll do one more chest right there. And go bam, bam. Ta-da. Throw some leaves in there. And this one does DNA lava. We're just going to need some dirt. Go ahead and make ourselves a water. Make you one of those. Go ahead and make ourselves a dirt. Dirt. And there we go. You're cooking. You're cooking. 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 There you go. And I think we needed, what, 18 total dirt? Look at that. We are just making progress. Mushrooms. How do we make mushrooms? Machine output. Batania. Looks like you're going to be a Batania method. Prismarine. Going to need cobble. There's our first little compressed dirt. Sapling down. All right, so I had some accidental muting my mic issues, but I didn't really just want to cut this part out. I, I did do a little bit of progress in it. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to just kind of talk about where I was doing. Uh, so first thing I did is I was just going through the quests and I was looking at the different things I can make. So I made the uh, chicken animal seeds uh, and then I started with the bone meal of grass to get more seeds so I could craft it and I was working towards I want to say compressed dirt. Uh, the end goal is I'm trying to make a cobble gen. You need a bunch of cobble. See there I'm making the chicken seeds. Uh, in order to make the uh, lava in the uh, jars, you have to have two compressed dirt. So I, was, I needed to come up with 18 uh, regular dirt, which was just using leaves. I think it was 10 leaves apiece. And I just went through every quest. And I was just trying to figure out where I could go. And I ended up doing this. And it was the simplest way to get a bucket of lava. Now, I, 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 I talk about getting the lava getting how I'm going to make a cobble gen. Oh, I think I'm making the spawner now. Yep, I'm making the spawner, the DNA spawner, which actually comes into play really soon. Ah, that thing was pretty confusing for me at first. Um, but yeah, so I, I talked about how I was going to make the cobble gen, and it's a way that I traditionally like to do it in Skyblocks. And uh, it just uses a bunch of crafting tables in the 70s or so, and it works good for vein mining. I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of it See, right now. Yep. I'm still just looking at all the different DNAs, trying to figure out what I can and can't make. That's something I really love about this pack is it's it's a rabbit hole. Every little quest is built in a way that you really have to progress through, but not not in a hard way. It's, it's not overly complex. It's not, you know, for lack of a better word, dumb. It, it kind of feels OK. It feels good. But you just have to really pay attention. You got to look at these quests and try to plan. You're you're planning like three or four different moves at once. And how am I going to progress this? And 
I, I've been having so much fun trying to make this and figure it out. And oh, dude, it was, it's just, I'm having a blast. And I wish I knew what I was talking about right now because I had, I was just on some tangents about some of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I went ahead and I was, I was checking out all the, all the different quests. Uh, there wasn't much I could do. I kind of got into the point where I was gated behind. I needed the cobble gen, and then next, you know, I got gated behind needing to get bees. And I think I think next episode, episode three, is are gonna be a lot of bees. All right, so what am I working on? I am making. Oh, right. So while I was looking at the quests, I saw the storage drawers, and I they're really simple to make. If you haven't used storage drawers, they're great little storages. And you make a single chest or a single drawer, double drawer, or four drawer. And so I'm just making these and realizing I'm a ding dong and don't get a recipe right and have to look it up again for the four drawer one. Or no, the two drawer one. The two drawer one's the one I messed up. But I eventually did figure it out and that worked good and that made me happy. But uh, so for for everybody else playing this pack, you know, what are you guys thinking about it? I, I'm over in uh, their Discord, and uh, there's some people in my Discord playing it, and I, I'm seeing so many cool things and such awesome designs, and I I, I can't figure out how I want to do my base. Like I can't come up with a good design. I want to be something fun. Uh, I'm I'm gonna figure it out. Probably you know ask you guys for inputs. But for now, you know, what are you guys what are you guys thinking of this pack if you're playing it? You know, what what's what's your What's your favorite part? What's your most challenging part? I think I am actually producing the lava now, if I'm paying attention correctly. It's weird, like, trying to remember what I'm saying and what I'm, my mind was at, because you're doing so many different steps that I was just like, I'm doing... Which piece was I on? Everything is so intertwined. Infinite water. And lava, yep. There we go. I am producing the lava. Now, if you guys are doing the lava step, it you have the clay buckets because we don't have iron. The clay bucket is one time use with lava, so just keep that in mind. If you only have two, make sure you got some more clay. You're going to have to make another one, especially if you need to pick that lava back up. Right. And I think I'm now getting ready to work on my collagen. So the way I do my traditional collagen is with a about 70 or so crafting tables and I make it in a seven by seven pattern with uh, what is it eight eight gaps in it that allows the water to flow downward and not into the lava and then I put the lava source in the middle and it creates a diamond of cobble so with that it's easy vein mine eight at a time uh, and works up to stacks of 64 really quick really easy there is other designs you can do but it's just the one I've kind of I, I learned years ago and I've just kind of stuck with it and the reason we use the crafting tables is because they don't burn so it makes kind of a great little thing you can do uh, one wide ones that just do one block at a time which is uh, later on in the video I think it's in the end of the towards the end of this I actually get the lava down and you realize that this pack the cobble gens produce stone and cobble Unlike the traditional how, how you make stone, how you make cobble. So my eight eight block vein mining one doesn't really work too well in this because I'll vein mine three and the rest and there's a stone blocking me from getting the rest. So if you're playing this, I would recommend just doing a simple one one block cobble gen. It'll take you a little bit longer to get to the 64 cobble that you need for the quest. But you know, the vein mining doesn't quite work how you want it to, so this is the, probably the most efficient way. All right, so here I am making making the the my seven by seven cobble gen, and it's it's a five by five interior, and I give it an extra block up around the exterior. And then what you do is uh, inside the seven by seven in that five by five space, you'll have one block in each corner, and then a the three by three in the middle will be filled, and then the middle block if that makes sense so it'll be so the first row would be a block a gap a block a gap a block you know and here i'm making that right now 
And the reason for this is when you put that water on that corner block, it'll flow down those uh, the two gaps that you have and not go any further. So it'll allow the lava to come into contact with it without turning into obsidian or anything like that. And of course I click on the wrong blocks. So this is right here is the full design. And then what I do is around the, the edge of it, the corner block and two out from each corner, I, I put more crafting tables. So it just has a one block walkway in and you can approach it from all four sides. So it works really well in a lot of sky blocks. Like I said, the vein mining didn't work out in my favor in this one, but this is the way I like to do it. Um, but especially just with the crafting tables in general, like I said, they don't burn, they don't, well, fire can catch on top of them, but it doesn't spread, it doesn't destroy them. So it's, it's pretty good substance. And the reason I really, really, really like using crafting tables besides the firing is when you're um, when you're mining, you're sitting there holding your your pickaxe, and if it's dirt, if it's gravel, it's cobble, whatever. And, uh, behind it, you'll end up breaking the block behind it sometimes. With crafting benches, they take a long time to break with pickaxe. So more uh, more likely than not, you'll end up getting new cobble in front of you before you break the crafting table behind it. So it allows you to basically just spam that button to break as many cobble as you can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now. I think we're uh, getting close to where I realized that I'm a ding dong and got my mic turned back on. But I you know, look forward to seeing your guys' feedback. And it's been such fun playing on this pack. So back to real time stubby. All right. And there you go. So we'll take the lava and we will put it right here. And it should spread out an instant cobble. Now what we need to do is make ourselves some tools. So the axe is going to be the head, the binding, and the tool. We'll need some patterns. What am I doing? Head, handle tool and one two three vein mine cobble now there is way more efficient design that usually doesn't happen there is more efficient designs i just kind of like this one because it's 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 kind of fun it's unique using the crafting tables and then if you want you could actually put over these empty spots you put the uh, crafting benches, and then in the middle you can put like the cauldrons or whatever gets heated by lava, and it's nice and safe to get over. Uh, only issue you'll see is every once in a while the cobblestones have a fire spread to them, but over that. Or apparently somehow we get in smooth stone. How are we getting you smooth stone? Interesting. I wonder if that's part of the cobble gen mechanic for this. It is. So this isn't really going to work. Mm. Okay. Well, we've got it. I just need to get 64 of them. Okay, I'm on. Come here, here, repaired. And that. Come on! What are the odds of that happening to me so many times? Cool. We got it. And what's this though? The crusher, smooth stone, which, okay. 
Well, first thing we're going to make is a furnace. All compressed cobble. We need more. Oh, we're making that bad boy. Heck yeah. Well, that was fun. That thing's going bye-bye. One, two, three. We'll call that a tangent of resources because we could get 64 gobble that we needed. Uh, you're going right there. But well, we're going to make this cobble gen. It's glad. Oh, wait, how do we get the glass? Oh, no, we're not. Dang. All right. Guess you're staying there for another minute. Your life has been spared. Cobble gen. Ah. Uh. Crafting match. Ha. And we have a furnace. Yes. So we'll throw that bad boy there. We'll take some of you. Put you right there. Put you right there. And we'll take you right there. And now we're going to have our glass. That easy. Oh, thank you. And we need another one. All right, so we're going to get to this cobble gen. It is the glass, six cobble. We have six cobble. We have the glass. As soon as we have that, we're going to have our lava. Or our bucket for the water. We've got our lava. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And that's gonna go by base. That was such a waste of wood. I thought I would need it a lot longer than I did. But you know, it's a good trick. On uh on mod mod packs that don't have that cobble gen block, it works out pretty darn well. Alright, so let's see. It should be six, should be water, lava. And we have cobble gen. We can take this bad boy. And I believe it needs to be below it. Yeah, there we go. Got our cobble coming. That made that part easy. So now all we have to do is worry about getting to the mushrooms, getting to the prismarine, and getting over to... I think that's it. I don't... See how much further we're going to go because we need to get into Batania. Alright, so Tinkers, we can do the grout. How are we get in the gravel? Oh, yeah, that's right. The crusher thing. Let's look at that. The crusher. Smooth stone and stone. So I need eight more. Yeah, man. Uh, let's make sure there's no crazy little recipe change. Stone, furnace, smooth stone, furnace. Okay. I'm going to want to get another one of these going really soon. Too many. Put you on top. Take you. One of you. And we'll get our smooth stone cranking. And we'll knock out the crusher. And then the gravel and the sand is just going to be 
in between episodes, I think. We'll we'll test out, figure out how it works, and then go from there. Come on. There we go. Get all that cleaned up. Get that cooking. Uh, what do we need? Water? No. Check. I want to double check the recipe for that. It was Batania. The recipe for this one. Cobble and organic water. All right. And the organic water recipe. A seed. And that one is the water one. Maybe that one is the water one. And I believe it was like that. Ooh. And let's just find out how this thing works. So put it right there. Ah, okay. So if I put you in there. Okay. And then I'll put you in again. Nice. Okay. And you break by this. You break by iron. Okay. Let's give ourselves a stack and let's do one at a time. It does. Okay. So it does one at a time. Pretty nice speed. And that'll give us right there. So in between episodes, like I said, we're going to want to go ahead and push towards uh, just wrapping up, getting the prismarine, uh, which I'm almost at. Maybe we'll start into the bees. We're going to get some more storage, hopefully. But Tanya is our next hopping off point and some animals. I don't know. Maybe we can kind of see where else can we go from there. Maybe we can get into Astro. I'll play with it. But I'm going to try to build up some resources, expand our platform, and just kind of get us set up for the next one. So until then, stubby out.